Okay, hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to talk about uh, muddy water and specifically do a quick uh, malware analysis on one of their interesting initial access malware, which employs uh, an RMM software, IT management software called Atera. We'll see how it's deployed, how it's executed. So muddy water is basically an Iranian APT group. They target many organizations, many sectors, and many uh, uh, states like Israel and others. And basically, they associate with other Iranian groups. They have specific techniques that are very attributed to them, like, for example, uh, stuff with uh, using PowerShell, CMD, uh, registry keys, a lot of usage of uh, net user slash domain to actually enumerate stuff on your Active Directory domain and stuff like this. And basically, you can go to the Attack Miter page. Um, their ID is G0069. Basically, you can go to this uh, page, read about them. So basically, Motherwater is an Iranian APT group, APT espionage group, that which target uh, many financial sectors or uh, organizations, um, you know, nations like I Israel, uh, United States, and so on. So basically this for muddy water, let's go and do our initial analysis. So uh, let's go, let me go to the, to the sample. So basically I have a sample here. It's called salary.msi. This is how it's called. Now, before I actually go and uh, do some mumbo jumbo stuff with this sample and execute it and stuff like this, let's do a quick initial analysis. So let me use my first go to, uh, is an hex editor called hxd and now basically the first thing i will do is to inspect the magic number of the file um, most of the time when i see this magic number you see this uh, weirdo d i some some kind of a character uh, it, it the first thing that pops to my mind is an msi file or a word doc file okay um so what I will do right now after inspecting some strings and see if I can find here something uh, interesting, uh, see some strings, uh, see usage of DirectX, um, some messages, stuff like this. But basically I will go and take the magic number, the first three at least, and go and I will use this uh, Wikipedia web, web page, which is called list of file signatures. And basically I will find the magic number. And of course, if we uh, check this, we'll see that actually it starts with D0 and ends with E1, as you can see here. So, yeah, basically all of those type of files, doc, XLS, PPT, MSG, and MSI, basically start with this magic number in their start of the file. So now I want to validate whether it's a doc file or an XLS or an MSI. Now, of course, we have, uh, we have the extension of the file, MSI, but you know, it can be fake. So in order to validate it, we basically go and right click on it, do seven zip and open archive. And here, the fact that we see here several files like this exposed without uh, like, uh, you know, without uh, folders inside and stuff like this, like you will see in a doc file. So immediately you will understand that it's an actual MSI dropper. This is what it will do. So basically, it will um, fundamentally it will go extract those files, execute them, uh, um, and basically do whatever it does. So the next thing that we can do basically is go and extract the files outside. Let's call it uh, next stage. Just uh, let's do everything organized. So let me take all of the extracted files um, and move them here so basically here are the files now I can go and analyze each one of those files separately so now basically if I go take this Atera agent exe we'll see that it's an MZ an actual PE file I can validate it also with this message of this uh, this uh, program cannot be running DOS mode which is our DOS stub and we have the PE uh, header and all of the other uh, sections you know the regular stuff of a PE file and 
And what another thing that I will see here immediately, it's, it has a what's called a Terra Agent exit config. So something uh, interesting and catch my eye. So let us open this config file and see if we can inspect the content inside. And yes, we can see the content inside. Let's see how it's built. So basically, um, well, what I'm seeing here, it's like, it's like a generic file basically to be used as part of the Atera agent. Um, one of the things that I will maybe expect is maybe to include uh, some IP addresses, URL, stuff like this, but not in this case, to be uh, honest. And now we have different type of DLL files, which are used for some reason, maybe again, part of the Atera agent uh, installation. And basically, yeah, we see that uh, every one of them is a uh, is basically a DLL file just to validate and see that it's actually the case and we don't have something weird here so seems like a like a regular p files so now before we go and do some kind of a reverse engineering or stuff like this let's uh, hope to uh, um to basically uh, before before we go extra to a sandbox so whatever basically uh, now we want to validate that it's actually whether it's actually a terror or not a lot of uh, apt groups like to use rmm uh, it management software because those are signed and and considered to be reliable and not something that is uh, by default uh detected or prevented by, by antivirus or edr software because again it's like those are legitimate software, but legitimate software can be exploited for malicious purposes. Um, even if we go right click properties and do digital signature, we uh, can see that it's actually signed by a terror network. We can uh, check the certificate and see that it actually, uh, the uh, like uh, the validity of it uh, from what time to which time and and stuff like this, basically. So most of uh, most of the times when an EDR or an antivirus seal or something like this, especially the, uh, in, in this case the, that it's signed, uh, it will not do always the extra mile of uh, interacting with it, uh, analyzing it, checking it statically, dynamically, etc. So uh, we need to be to keep in mind and check for this. So this, this is basically a Terra. So let's take the MSI file and just upload it to, in this case, I use ThreadZone. I, I will choose here a Windows 11 x64 and let's do our submission and let it do a job. And now, okay, we already see that in the static scan, we have something uh, uh, popped up. Let me go back and do inspect it again here. I don't see anything uh, problematic in this uh, config file. Another thing that I want to do is to upload the file to VirusTotal. See if, and like try to correlate both of those systems and see what I can learn from both of them. Okay, so I see here that 27 out of 66 are basically uh, detected by various total or by different uh, antivirus and EDR vendors. Um, so most of those uh, EDR or antivirus vendors detected as Trojan, hack tool, and most importantly as remote admin. So we see immediately that it's an actual, uh, they employ this RMM to actually see and like to, to actually gain access to those attack networks and computers. And let's see if we have more interesting stuff to check. Uh, relations. So see here are another relation to a zip file, cap file, see a relation to a Terra agent. Uh, all of those files that we already saw.
and we go if we go to behavior you can see if there is something interesting so they do a lot of enumerations execute command line uh, uh, commands like uh, cmd stuff like this use the scx and net exe uh, to stop and start services use schedule job uh, most likely maybe for persistence stuff like this um trying to um to do uh, cookie stealing basically um let's see the command control and yeah i see all of those uh urls you can see that they actually communicate communicating to to all of those urls it seems like they using a legitimate Atera agent not something custom made from what I'm seeing I don't even see if there is a reason to actually go the extra mile and do um, like a reverse engineering on those exe files or something So see that it's in a progress here. Let's check the static analysis. So it seems that it has an high entropy. Okay, see that it took all those URLs from the static analysis. One of the things that I like about uh, ThreadZone is that they can aid you in actually creating YAR rules. Uh, they actually go and do the extra mile of like suggesting you specific strings that you can use statically in order to like create uh, a YAR rule. Uh, let's see what else we have here. And as you can see, if I go to hunting, you can see and actually go and uh, take the CR rule and of course custom, custom, customly like uh, use it for your purposes. Um, now I see that it's actually executing it. And let it run for several minutes and we'll get back. Okay, now that the emulation was finished, we can see, uh, first of all, one of the things that I like here, like we can see a full video of like everything that is actually done from uh, like the user point of view. So we can full screen and see what happened. So see that several like, uh, files were created maybe it's part of the okay well, here we have the celery msi executed i will see that it's executed with cmd and so the msi basically executed cmd from what it seems then the cmd uh, executed the extracted terror agent.exe file by the way, they uh, also tend to use other RMM tools like uh, Screen Connect and other stuff. And basically that's it from what it seems from the user point of view. Then we have an e what's so-called indicators. So basically we see that uh, the net exit here is used. Um, uh, see several uh, RWX permissions used here in the process. Uh, again, it's part of the a legitimate RMM uh, of 
the Atera agent. Again, the fact that by default, this RMM agent is legitimate, this is exactly what they're exploiting because again, EDRs and antivirus will not detect it as malicious because again, they're legitimate software signed, okay? Um, so basically I will go and see the execution flow of the force tree. We'll see MSI exec, which is basically what actually execute the salary MSI. It's used the MSI exec slash I for installation. Uh, straightforward is, is that. Mm -mm. And basically see that loaded several other DLLs which is again part of the Atera agent installation. And yeah, even got to executing net exe. So basically what they did it to Yeah, from what it seems, they actually got and stopped the service and stopped the process of other agent. Maybe they detected the presence of virtual machine. Maybe not. Interesting to see it. Um, let's see if we can see more interesting stuff in the behavior window. Basically, though from those extracted DLLs, they actually did the run DLL32 exe. So, interesting to like go into those DLLs, maybe. I don't know if they're part of the RMM Atera agent or maybe another addition to it. In this case, if I go to network. Okay, they didn't uh, connect to a problematic URL, only for the digital signing check. Uh, uh, so they used virtual sandbox evasion, okay, from what the sandbox sees. So basically, from what I've seen, this is what it actually does, without too much uh, magic happens here not in a sense there is not a lot of magic in a sense of a technical magic per se like you don't see some mumbo jumbo pros injections hookings kernel mode drivers deployed nothing it started as a phishing attack attached with a zip file from there it was or is a document file and from there, it deployed an MSI file, which was ex um, executed. And then from there, the Atera agent or the screen connect was deployed. And that's it. They have full control on the attacked computer, on the organization. They targeting without any DR and antivirus intervening. And all of this because they're using legitimate software, legitimate RMM IT management software, which is signed. So, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much and see you in the next videos.